is not going to be happy. Hey, it's Jay, and yep, true story, my wife ran over the sprinkler heads. I'm gonna show you a super easy way to replace your sprinkler heads without actually digging down into the soil. Let's do it. You can see that this is one of the broken sprinkler heads. I found this nearby. This is the top part. And I think what happens is, over time, a little bit of grime gets in the uh, sprinkler head here, and it's supposed to retract and go down in, but then what ends up happening is it ends up sticking out just a little bit. So my wife came by and just popped it off like that. And uh, so we gotta replace the whole sprinkler head. There's really no fixing that. So I haven't really touched this yet, but all you're gonna do is just get in here and you're just gonna twist it counterclockwise. Oh wow. So the sprinkler head just came right off. We wanna replace the whole sprinkler though. I'm just using a chisel, just kinda getting in here and twisting it around. All right, there we go, and we're free. You can see you've got like a perfect hole right there and you can just screw it right back in. Just look at the top of your sprinkler head and it'll give you the specs on it to, so you know what, which one to replace it with. In this case, this is the uh, Rainbird RD1800. On the top of the actual sprinkler head itself, uh, you can see that the lines only go 180 degrees. This is gonna indicate the direction that the sprinkler is gonna flow. So in this case, it's gonna come out 180 degrees uh, in this direction. If you turn the sprinkler head this way, it's gonna fire right at the driveway. So when you put the new sprinkler in, you wanna make sure that you're facing the right way and that you have the right one. Fortunately, I was able to get out and get a good replacement from Home Depot. Uh, on the top here, you'll see it's 180 degrees. Uh, they also come in 360, 90 degrees. So you just have to check and see which one you're replacing. All right, let's put this in. See that, it just fits down like a glove. And then you just screw it in. That's real tight. I kind of switched angles on you. Here's the driveway over here and the garden beds this way. So we're actually faced well. All right, so we're gonna spray her that way. All right, let's do the next one. This next one is just covered up a little bit and so I'm just gonna take a trowel and dig around and just get some of the grass out of the way. You can see the top here that snapped off. It feels like it's gonna be the same deal as last time. The top's gonna come off. The sprinkler head's broken in here. So I'm just gonna once again, I'm just gonna take my wood chisel and just get a grip. I'm just turning it counterclockwise and I should be able to get this out. There it is. All right, we're gonna put the next one right back in the hole. All right, that is as tight as I can get it. Let me just make sure that there's nothing stopping it from going down. The sprinkler is actually facing the driveway. You can see that the dotted lines here are facing that way. So we have to turn this around. I'm just gonna turn the sprinkler head. So I'm just gonna use a screwdriver and I'm gonna pull this up. And then I'm gonna physically twist it. You'll hear it click. And I'm twisting it until the dotted lines on this side are facing the grass. All right, and we should be good. All right, let's try it out.
video is how to maintain your sprinkler system. If you happen to have a sprinkler system, it's important to always check to make sure that it's working properly. The sprinkler system is so fragile that the plastic pipes that all the sprinkler system water flows through can break easily. And if you aren't inspecting regularly, then the sprinkler system might come on in the middle of the night and you never see that you're leaking out hundreds of gallons of water each night. So it not only wastes a lot of water, but it also drives up your bill every month. By checking every few months, your entire system will just run more smoothly and efficiently. In our house, we have four zones for the sprinkler system. So first thing is we're gonna start the test zone for zone one. You're just doing a visual inspection to see how everything's working. So we're moving on to zone two. This one's covered, so we're gonna fix that. This one, I can hear the water, but I can't see it. The sprinkler head's completely buried. We're just about buried there, it's not doing its job. And this one's pretty good. I just got some chalk so I can mark the sidewalk where the bad sprinklers are. On to zone three. Good, 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 not good, good. This one is definitely having some issues. <laughs> And then last but not least, let's check out zone four. Just using a spade shovel to dig the sprinkler out. And don't believe in me, believe just make your hands me. Say you're weak and end the week and never stress a thing. No, we gon' go another day when we don't disagree. And when the sun shines here, regardless if you do believe, hey, still awake in the morning when I see your face. Need you more when you go, I need you more every day. Keep a foot on the brake in case I lose all control. Yeah, so baby, don't lose control. All right, just finished the labor. Now it's been a long time since I've actually done that. It's probably been a year and a half. And in hindsight, I wish I had done it sooner. Some of my sprinkler heads are still sunk a little bit low. If I have to bring them up to level service again, I'm probably gonna have to dig up some pipes and move some things around and make a, a bigger hole. But we'll see how it works for now. Let's check it out. That one's still a little low. You can actually see that one. And this one's looking really good. This one's doing much better. It wasn't even able to come all the way up. It's hard to see, but there's a mist coming all the way over to this post. It's not a real strong sprinkler head, but at least it's making its way all the way over there to the black post now. Thanks for watching today. I hope you found this video useful. Please be sure to like it and subscribe to this channel. Until next time.